This is uh, Sean Megami from Dream Jiu Jitsu. Uh, we've got over 100 blue belts competing today from 60 different academies. Uh, we're about to get started with the heavyweights. Uh, should be very exciting. And uh, can't wait to see what the baddest blue is going to look like today. Thank you. Uh, my name is Gail Vasquez, and uh, I fight out Carlson Gracie Jiu Jitsu. I'm from uh, Marietta. The first fight, I'm, I'm nervous. Like every other fight, I'm nervous. I know everybody has the capability to beat me as much as I have to, to beat them. And I, I love the rules personally. I like that we can start doing knee bars at a young belt. And um, yeah, um, Dream Jiu Jitsu. Garrett, the Beach Town Killer, training out of Undisputed San Diego, downtown North Park Purebred. My first match, basically, he was a strong opponent. I'm not sure what school he's from, a uh, respected opponent. But, uh, you know, I, I basically felt him out. And uh, when I felt it was time and in position, then I uh, secured the triangle choke on him and, um, you know, got the tap. So I was lucky for that, not to waste too much energy and be efficient in the first round. So my name is Justin Markle. I train here at New Breed Academy. I've been training for about three, a little over three years now. So my first fight was real tough. I went against a real big guy. Uh, probably one of the bigger guys in the tournament. He's about two, I, I, I don't know. He felt like 300 pounds. He's probably around 280, something like that. And uh, I'm probably one of the smallest guys. I didn't want to cut weight just because I had a lot of stuff going on in my life. So the match was tough. It was a big guy, David versus Goliath, back and forth. My game plan was just to tire him out because I knew that guy was strong and he was heavy. And if I got, if he got on top of me, it's going to be a long day. And a few times he got on top of me, half guard. He got side control one time, but I was able to recover. And gosh, it was hard to get him off. But I was able to get him off, shuck him off, get a good position. And finally, after about almost 16 minutes into the match, I submitted him to Darsh Choke. My name is Liz Exel, and I train at Gracie Morumbi in Ventura with uh, Fabio Leopoldo. My first match was like eight minutes long. It was pretty tough. Um, had a couple of takedowns, and she almost armbarred me from the guard, and I had to stack her a lot to get out. And then eventually, I won by playing armbar. Hi, I'm McKenna. I train at Ralph Gracie Chino Hills under Sean Roberts, and I've been training for almost 10 years. I fought in four dream events so far. One women's and two kids, and then this women's. And I like them because Sean organizes them really well, and there are always fair matchups, and you always get the maximum amount of fights. I did a lot more cardio than I usually do to get ready for this tournament because it is no time limit and there's no points, so you can't just win off of points. You have to win off of submissions and it can potentially go for a really long time. And then I worked more in depth on my submissions and my position control. My name is Tan Sing Hua. I train at the Art of Jiu-Jitsu Academy. Um, I really love the tournament setup. It was really smooth, like Sean puts on really great tournaments. I did the Baddest Blue Gi tournament and everything was really smooth. You think that like in a submission only no time limit tournament, it could be pretty hard to organize, but Sean's organized it in a way that it's done really well. Really smooth, Everyone's get, everybody gets a good amount of breaks and um, it's just really chilled out at the same time. Great atmosphere, there's food available, there's drinks available, there's uh, medics, you know, everything's done very well. And uh, I think I did quite good in my first fight. Um, it took a little bit longer than I thought it would, um, but I managed to win by armbar triangle, fortunately. My name is uh, Rick Zalata. I train at uh, Paragon Brazilian Jiu Jitsu under uh, Frangini, Ricardo Miller, and Steve Cardenas, and uh, the whole Paragon guys, HBJJ. Um, my first fight, I had a chest planet close to Mesa guy. You know, um, uh, I, I got a triangle with an arm bar, he slipped out, and then I got the triangle again, mounted him, and, and finished the match. My name is Tito Sosa. I train in Ventura, California. My school is Gracie Morambi. Uh, my professors are Fabio Leopoldo. Uh, so uh, my first match was 56 minutes. Uh, I've never done that before. Um, I like the fact that you there's no time limit. Um, I, I really don't like how the point system works. But you know, um, yeah, uh, every event is different. But this uh, this event, I really do like it. Um, my match was really tough. The guy I fought was really good. Uh, he was able to get side control and full mount stuff like that. He was able to do submissions, but just, just because I had uh, all that time, I was able to get around it and then in the end get the submission. So the time limit is, uh, I, I like it out. It's not, not, it's, you have it, you know, as long as you want. Hi, I'm Diego Vasquez. Uh, I won the Spanish Blue for the second time and I'm sponsored by Ground, uh, Grounded Athletics. Uh, my school is uh, Carlson Gracie team. And 
and uh, between all my five matches, I would say I have at least probably over an hour <laughs> of match time. Uh, everybody was good. Um, my first match, I believe, was under six minutes. Second, under six minutes as well. Uh, my third match was 28. My fourth match was 23 minutes, and then uh, my finals match was my shortest match. It was uh, 5:07, I believe. I also want to thank my my grandfather. Uh, he just recently passed away, and I know he's watching over me. And uh, everything I do is for for him. Love you, Grandpa. My name is Richard Alarcon Jr. and uh, I fight and do all my jiu-jitsu at Lotus Cup Club uh, out there in Timoyama in Irvine, California. I had about, I'd say five, five bouts and then I had a bye at the very beginning. Uh, of course, all submissions. I probably, I'd say I grappled a total of 30 minutes, give or take. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm very happy to accomplish something as big as this at this kind of tournament. It's great, you know, for jiu-jitsu, going for just all submissions. Uh, it's kind of, you know, promotes the sport, sport a lot better than just winning by an uh, advantage point. Hi, my name is Ben Silva, training out Kyle Terra Association in San Jose, California. I just won the 180 pound and below division for the Bass Blue Belt No Geese Submission Only Tournament. I just went in the, in the finals with a young man here who's 145 pounds, and I was really impressed with his strength and the fact that he had a lot of heart to sign up for a bigger division. So, my man Javi here. I uh, put on a great performance all day long. I knew I was going to go to the finals with this little guy, so it was a tough battle. He had a long, couple, how long was his couple of your matches? I had like 130, 30-minute match, two to 10-minute matches. I, on the hand, was lucky enough to get the guys out of there quick, so I had a little bit of extra gas in the gas tank. I'm sure if he didn't have 30-minute matches, we would have been battling for a good hour or so. so. Javi, what do you think about the rules in this tournament? Um, I think the rules are great. No time limit, submission only. That's my game. I love to go for the submission. I'm not really a points guy. Whatever they give me, I take. And I try to finish from all angles. Whatever I can do, get the win. But fortunately, I didn't get the win tonight. Give it up to my boy Benji right here. He got it. Come next time, fight hard. Come at him again. Uh, I love the rules. You know, uh, I competed in the Juan vs. Need battle and uh, Gracie Nationals and uh, Kai always teaches us this technique conquers all, and uh, he constantly wants us to attack and use technique, but finish the guys. He doesn't want us to be boring fighters. He wants us to show that the jiu-jitsu actually works. And having tournaments like this, no time limit, and having to finish a guy, and if they don't and they're stalling, they're gonna get penalized. Is the most uh, I feel brings out real jiu-jitsu and, and uh, makes people really want to go for the win. You know, instead of playing these advantages and refs decisions, you really gotta go for the kill. And uh, like me and Javi here, we got that kill switch, we want to finish guys. You know, in IBJJF, I'm the same way, I like to finish guys.